guys, it's me, Jazzy here. So today I'm going to, I'm going to take my glasses off because there's a glare and that really annoys me. So I'm just going to take my glasses off, but now my eyes are all blurry, but that's fine. I can still see you guys. But um, today I'm going to be doing a sort of unboxing plus it's sort of first impressions. I haven't tried out the product yet, but I looked at it. So it's just going to be like a sort of unboxing, but it's, I'm just going to say it's like sort of unbox, but I wanted to do a video, like a little unboxing makeup haul for you guys, because I ordered a big, huge eyeshadow palette. Um, well, my mom ordered it for me, obviously, and she bought it for me because, yeah, but anyway, um, so yeah, let's get started. So... Okay, first off, I just want to quickly say, um, I got this, well, okay, so I had been looking on Coastal Sense and Beach Cosmetics, so then I read, like, a review, and they said Beach Cosmetics and Coastal Sense is exactly the same, except BH Cosmetics is better for some reason, like, they use this BH cosmetics has the same exact like they come from the same um manufacturer it they just because coastal sense puts their label on it and then bh cosmetics puts their label on it so they they use like different casings for the palettes and stuff but it's all the same eyeshadow but then in another review somebody said bh cosmetics was more pigmented so i'm just like in two reviews, people said BH Cosmetics better, so I'm just going to cut out Coastal Scents because their shipping was so expensive. So expensive. And my mom was like, that is really expensive for shipping. And BH Cosmetics and Coastal Scents had the same exact pricing, except Coastal's shipping was a lot more expensive. For some reason, I don't know why. Um, so pretty much, I decided to do with BH Cosmetics. But then, when I was like, we were like preparing for checkout, I was originally just gonna get the eighty eight palette because the eighty eight palette was on sale for I think ten ninety five, but with shipping, it ended up being. Eighteen ninety, and then I was like, "Darn, that's pretty. Like that's like eight dollars shipping. Literally, that's like a little less than eight dollars shipping." So I'm like, "That's pretty. That's not that great. I mean, I'm shipping to the U.S. in Texas. That why is that so expensive?" And they don't have anything that's free shipping. And, um, and just get this, the 120 palette was going to be $23.94 on BH Cosmetics, the second edition. Because it was on sale for like $15.94, so it had like some shipping. So get this, the 88 palette was going to be, all together with shipping, was going to be $18.90. And then... The 88 for 88 colors. The 120 for 120 colors was going to be 23.94 on Amazon. Shipped from BH Cosmetics. It's completely real. It's no scam. It's BH Cosmetics. It's shipping from the BH Cosmetics. It's just on Amazon. I got the 120 palette for four cents more than I would have gotten the 88 palette so i got a ton of more colors for four cents more off of amazon i got the 120 palette second edition the one i'd been looking for really cheap shipping um so it was great and the shipping was so fast we ordered it on monday and it got here today which today is thursday so it was so sh so fast it shipped the night we ordered it so, I definitely, I'll put the link um, to bhcosmetics.com, but if you want to get this palette, get it on Amazon. 
because you're getting a way better deal. You're getting the 120 for four cents more. It was eight. It the whole total of shipping was 18.94. The 120 palette second edition, but yet on bhcosmetics.com the 88 palette was only 18.90. So I'm like, duh, I'm getting it off of Amazon. Even fast shipping. The BH Cosmetics shipping was like seven. Gonna be like seven days. This was only a couple days. If you guys like these unboxing videos, they're usually long, but if you guys like them, then let me know if you want me to continue to do unboxing. So, pretty much, it just came, it was on my porch, came in this big thing, and then at the bottom, it was shipped. Like literally, I didn't get an invoice. I usually get an invoice off of Amazon, but that to me feels like they actually sent it from BH Cosmetics. Like they didn't send it from Amazon. Even the box says BH Cosmetics. And then at the bottom, there's like a little thank you for choosing. BH Cosmetics and then a little spring arrivals. This much. It comes in this cool paper. New improved design. So I think they changed the kit cover. Because I was watching reviews from years ago, and the the cover was actually glossy. This one's matte, because a lot of people in the reviews complained that fingerprints got over all over the glossy one. So it just shows everything. The casing's amazing. color palette second edition it's backwards right now but it won't be once I edit this video on the computer Okay guys, so it's the next day and I just woke up a few hours ago. I've just been texting Katie ever since I woke up um, and I'm just right by my window. That's why you can hear noises and like a little bar you press and you just press it like that. See, press it in. It's really easy because it makes sure that you're not going to like have all the eyeshadows come out at once. So then you press it and then there's this amazing mirror. I'm just gonna it's gonna blind me, so it's gonna blind you guys. So I'm just gonna put that over. But I'm definitely keeping the sheet on because I don't want the eyeshadow getting like all messy. And so this is the first tray. My hands are so small, it's hard for me to... <laughs> this is the first tray, and I'll do little close-ups. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys row by row. And something I want to tell you about this palette is why I chose the second edition was because... Um, well, it was because I had, like, I've always liked matte, shimmer, and glittery colors. These are the glitter ones. You can, you can tell when they're glittery. Very 
that one's very glittery, that turquoise. That you can tell is really glittery. That's glittery, that orange glittery. The green, the, the black, the gray. Um, yeah, that's the purple. It's really glittery. Those two look like they're the same color, but they're... Actually, they're not. <laughs> that's weird. And, um... Yeah, so pretty much there's the really glittery ones, and then there's just like shimmer. So this is a shimmer one. That is my favorite color in this tray. This coral color, you can see it's got specks of gold, but it's not like full-on glitter like this. And then that's completely matte. Like that's matte. It has no shimmer. The colors are so bright and vibrant and pigmented I love and also another reason I got this was because it had all these neutral colors and I really like the neutral colors in it and then it also has like this matte white stand it up right here this matte white this sh like glit this very glitter glittery eggshell color and then this frosty, like, just normal shimmer eyeshadow. Like, you can see these two are just normal shimmer. And then definitely this one and that gray right there are very glittery. And then you can tell, like, these are matte. So that's pretty much. I just wanted to show you guys how it has, like, three different types of shimmer, glitter, and matte. So that's really good if you like tons of different types. The colors are so pretty for summer, like, just look at that. You can't even see, but I can do, like, a bright sunburst color. Greens, blues, I love how it has all the different shades. Pinks, purples, magentas. This one's, like, a bright magenta. This one's, like, a just a normal hot pink. You can't see the difference that well on camera, but there's a huge difference off camera. This one's lighter and this one's way darker but they're both matte there's like just really good matte blending colors there's um this sort of gray brown this shimmery very little shimmer brown there's this dark shimmer brown there's this dark glitter bronze this other lighter bronze that's shimmer but this one's glitter and then just another matte like so many good colors and I'm gonna swatch them so I'm gonna swatch the black because everybody does not like everybody wants a pigmented black no one wants a black that's like dark look at that with one very light swipe look at how pigmented that is I'm just going to swatch this hot pink for you guys on my ring finger. Wait, I have black on there. Just kidding. This is like the lightest swipe. Did you see that? That was really light, so. That's pretty pigmented for the, like, if you saw how light I did that swipe. Um, I'm going to... Pig I'm going to check the white because white and black are the main colors you always want very pigmented. Just with a clean finger. Very pigmented. No shimmer. Matte. It's nice. So, very first tray is amazing. And then what you can do is you take it and you put this right there. Make it a little protector, and then you can just pop it in here, like so, like that. So then you can set this on your vanity, whatever, and you've got your whole palette. Per this is going to be perfect for me for tutorials. And then this little second tray, you may think the colors look all the same. But they don't, actually. I'll do a comparison. I'll do a little, like, I'll take some um, high-quality pictures and clips of the palette up close so you guys can see a little better. 
this one, ha this side is more cooler toned. Um, and as you can see, the, the eyeshadows aren't going to fall out, like, literally. They're very nicely in there. This one has a lot of more neutral colors, which I like. And also, this one has another white, except that white was matte in the first tray. In the second tray, the white is shimmery, just a tiny bit shimmery. And then, did you see that eggshell color below the white? Let me show you guys. Ooh. There we go. The eggshell color, that one right below the white, well, it's like glittery. This one is just a hint of shimmer. Just a little hint of shimmer. This one has a lot more shimmer. Well, a lot more of the glittery ones. Most of the colors are either glittery or matte. On this one, most of the colors are e either matte or shimmer. But a ton of these are, like, glittery. So each tray has 60 colors. So a total of 120 colors to choose from. Amazing, right? All these pretty purples, all the, I did that yesterday on accident, all these pretty reds, valentine, I'm just thinking valentine right now. All these neutrals, some of these colors looks exactly like from the Urban Decay palette, all these colors. Um, and I love this because it was, it was really affordable and it's not like the cheap Claire's palettes. The colors are so pigmented, I'm not going to swatch anymore because... I don't want to just, like, be wasting, but as you guys see, you can watch any review, and everybody will say the colors are so pigmented. Look at all these neutrals. This is definitely a palette if you want a space saver. Just take this for, if you're going on vacation, you won't have to bring any other eye shadow palettes. Sort of have to hold this one down, but... Here is a comparison. I'm going to flip it this way so you guys can see a better comparison. See, all the colors are completely different. Thank you for watching my unboxing plus first impression review on this palette. Let me know if you guys want to see a tutorial. I'll be happy to do one.